Hey cuties, PG here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, let's take a look at the brand new Rainbow High Winter Wonderland dolls. So stay tuned, subscribe, and let's get into it. Okay, so on the official MJ store, as we can see here, when you go on, oops, I don't know what that was, but as you can see, when you go on the just released tab, it takes you to their most recent drops, including, of course, the new Winter Wonderland dolls. And of course, here we have the Littles dolls and also the um, most uh, recent, um, you know, creating color and create dolls from the tie dye series. So, as you can see, um, the sparkle and shine, sh sparkle and shine dolls are not here yet, they're not um, included yet. So, I'm guessing they will drop those as well in a couple of weeks because people have been finding those dolls as well in stores early already. So, I'm thinking probably sometime August they will add them to the MJ store. But for for now let's just talk about these new winter wonderland dolls and as you can tell as you can see right here already the skylar doll seems to be the most popular one as she has sold out first so um definitely interesting now this is it's obviously just the mj store here so obviously if you have the links and search on amazon or target or whatever you go in person i'm sure you're still going to be able to find skylar in person or on other retail Retailers, online stores but it's definitely it goes to show you that uh skylar is the most popular one out of the four and that's no surprise because i think her mermaid style dress really does a lot for her doll overall um and i'm not gonna make a whole video just about this one thing but let's also talk about quickly the new rainbow high bella styling head uh she has caused quite controversy because she has inf infamously she is lacking the inset eyes she has painted on eyes instead um and she looks quite demonic so yeah i'd have to agree um you know the real life pictures she looks just as bad i'm just gonna be blunt about it she looks bad in person as well um i guess it's objective if you think she's bad or not like if like the quality of the hair and the actual plastic like you know that's subjective to you if you get her if that if that's what you value whatever um but like i think objectively speaking her face the way it looks she looks surprised she looks shocked to be here um and i just think the inset eyes like if they were able to give the big giant amaya doll inset eyes and i think her head is even bigger than bella's here um then it just really it's kind of crazy that they didn't give this bella doll inset eyes as well i mean it's just it seems like a really small thing that they should have just done um and it's also like the inset eyes detail like that that feature on rainbow high dolls is basically it's like it's a it's a signature detail it's how you are basically able to make out if it's a rainbow high doll or not so like i feel right you know like if that's a that's a it's like it's rainbow high signature thing the the inset eyes so if they're doing painted on eyes here with this Bella doll and like also before that Rainbow High Littles, they have painted on eyes. So I, I mean, I'm, I'm just kind of scared. Like, what does this mean for the future of Rainbow High? Does this mean that potentially one day we'll have normal sized Rainbow High dolls, but with painted on eyes? Like, that would be actually horrible. Like, um, yeah, that would definitely not be Rainbow High anymore. That would be really bad. Uh, but I guess... <laughs> I hope that never happens. Uh, but yeah, so Bella, she's fine. I mean, again, it really it depends on what you value, what you want this Bella doll for. Um, if you actually want to style her, if I think she's going to be fine for kids. I don't think kids are really going to care too much about the inset eyes or not. Um, and the pricing, you know, 30 bucks. I feel like it's a it's a decent price. I mean, if you've seen real life pictures, you know that she's a, she's a big doll, a big, you know, styling head. So it makes sense. But I just, I really feel like the... Um, the actual inset eyes thing like it just looks off she looks really surprised and just yeah i don't blame her i would be also surprised to be here um but also we have a new locker place it here for dolls so that's fun that's that's cool uh includes some accessories and it's a doll sized uh, locker that's fun that's cool <laughs> i don't have much to say 
it's 15 bucks and there you go if you are into uh world building like you know displaying your rainbow huddles in like a school setting then these lockers definitely are going to be amazing um to fill out the you know school scene uh but yeah i mean it's just yeah it's it's all right so now let's take a look at the new winter wonderland dolls it's definitely funny how the first series of winter dolls we had all six main core characters and now in the second uh, ever iteration of a winter doll line for rainbow high we only have four characters and uh bella is included here who was initially you know she wasn't part of the group yet so yeah interesting you know different uh iterations of the groups different versions of the theme <laughs> oh yeah which 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 series do you prefer winter wonderland or winter break dolls from you know the original uh from way back when they they were part of the first wave of drops for rainbow high when they initially came out so yeah it's been a while oh my gosh since rainbow high came out when did they come out like oh, oh, i don't know it's oh it's been a couple of years right so yeah it's been a hot second oh my gosh the nostalgia i remember the winter break dolls um a lot of people were just so obsessed with them and they're still available like i checked on amazon you can still find them relatively easy i think um if you have the links if, if you don't know where if you don't know where to find the links because i know it's sometimes like really it's like it's messy it's not really easy to find a link somehow sometimes for specific dolls but basically just look it up on youloveit.com they always have all the links or most links for recent doll releases so yeah okay first off here is bella you know since she this is actually her first doll in the rainbow high rebrand <laughs> oh my god this is it's her first doll so here's Bella you know we're still waiting on her um slime core doll of Bella and Poppy um Poppy's shoe got leaked so I mean that's a good sign for sure but hopefully Bella is also coming with Poppy um so I'm pretty sure Bella and Poppy will get added to the slime core dolls uh, eventually just I'm, I'm waiting so F until then this is the Bella that we have uh, for now as part of the, the rebrand of Rainbow High, Rainbow World. So she's obviously wearing this huge ass skirt. <laughs> it's your skirt. It's huge. Um, in a lot of the panels, it's interesting. Um, each of these dolls, they have panels attached to various clothings that the clothing pieces that they're wearing, like a bottom piece, jacket, skirt, um, and they're attached to those clothing items so that you can add the the gimmick which is this colored sand it's like kinetic sand uh or some something something weird you're supposed to like inject it into those little pockets of fabric so it looks like the dolls are wearing like weird a weird substance around the, the clothing items i don't know who came up with this idea who thought it was a good idea you know if mga really wants to go all out with the new gimmick route that they're going on with you know every, it seems like every rainbow high line so far has had a gimmick you know series one we had the slime uh sparkle and shine you know the glitter legs winter wonderland this this weird kinetic sand so if they if they have to include a gimmick with every major release then at least like in this case i feel like it would have been a better way to do it if they would have just had the snowman building gimmick like that and not make the whole gimmick be that you know inject the sand into these pockets attached to the clothing of the dolls because i don't feel like kids will want to do that because they want to play with the sand they don't want to play with the sand in the dolls and then, like once it's in the dolls clothing items how do you get it out so i have questions i'm just like i'm feeling like it doesn't make much sense so a better choice would have been to just have the you know because you, you can build like a snowman with the sand so have that be the gimmick you know building a snowman with sand that's the gimmick i don't feel like they had to go the extra mile here and make the gimmick that oh you have to inject the sand into the the clothing piece like why i just feel like that it's just like it's fun maybe in the moment but like after the fact it's like well what am i going to do now <laughs> is it going to expire what do i do if it it's ex expires like how do i get the sand out of those pockets like do does it mold I, I don't know i think so you know over time and then the kids will you know inhale all that stuff and, and play with it like how is it i just feel like it's just not very it doesn't make sense so the building 
snowman would be a better route to go. But I don't know. They just they just had to attach the gimmick to the doll themselves. So I wish they would separate the two, separate the two, the doll. And the gimmick. They don't have to make it one thing, you know. I forgot to talk about Bella, but yeah, Bella herself, the doll. Um, she's cute. You know, I've I've seen real life pictures of people already finding them in person, ordering them from the store. Um, and I think with all of these、uh, from the collection, they all have the same issue where the eyebrows are just they're very straight. They they this they have this really weird expression. It's like. They don't have an expression. They're expressionless. Like I, I don't like it at all. Like the eyebrows have no shape and they have no expression. The makeup is just really bland.、Um, and the hair has tinsel and it just seems to be full of product and it's messy and oh. Anyways,、uh, <laughs> she's cute. Obviously, it's Bella's debut, so yay to some extent.、Um, the skirt, in theory, the design, in theory, <laughs> execution, not so much. But like it could have been cute. It's fine. The top. The hoodie, the jacket, it's cute. It's fine. The shoes, new mold. It's cute. It's fine. I'm. You, you see what I'm like? I I feel like it's cute, and it's fine. But like. Cute and fine, I feel like do not qualify and justify me paying for it as doll. Next we have Skylar. Now, besides for the whole、uh, kinetic sand、uh, gimmick that they include here,、uh, the snow,、uh, the snowman feature, the mold for that, and the syringe that you're supposed to use for the dress,、uh, the actual like actual doll accessories here that are included for each doll are a pair of sunglasses, a purse, and、um, what else? A sunglass, a purse. I want to say like a little cup of cocoa was included here as well, like a little snack, a beverage. That's that's cute. That's that's cute.、Um, and also stand as well, of course. So、um, like so accessory wise, speaking for like the actual doll.、Um, It's kind of bare. Like I feel like they should include more accessories. You know, like even the winter break dolls.、Uh, you know, granted their accessories were more. The, the, the accessories that they included were leaning more towards sports, since they each had like skis or snowboards.、Um, but still, like I feel like for these dolls, just one cup of whatever and like a little headpiece, sunglasses or a purse, like nothing else. Like it could have been more interesting. But um, yeah, Skylar. Obviously, she's cute. She has the mermaid skirt.、Um, but it, again, it's ruined by. The whole gimmick feature that with the added layer where you're supposed, like the pocket where you're supposed to put in the sand,、um, I've seen people cut that off. So it's possible to cut that away if you're not a fan of it.、Um, but I feel like if that's the re- like if that's what we have to do to enjoy the doll that we're buying to cut a piece out of the intended fabric outfit clothing piece, <laughs> like. It just to me it feels wrong. Like it just yeah, it just says a lot about like. What does not work with these dolls?、Um, but I think, you know, like pu- purely, like、um, idea-wise, I like what they were doing here. I can see why she's the most popular. I think she is really cute. But I, this, I have the same issue with the eyebrows, the expression. She just, it, it's very dull. The hair. You know the top, the 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 jacket, like it's fine. I think she's the best one out of the four for sure,、um, because of the skirt probably. But she's still not really a must for me. Like I, I'm probably not gonna get her. You know? Next we have Sunny. Now she obviously has this huge coat where you're supposed to put the sand into. And、um, aside for that whole thing,、um, without the sand,、uh, it looks fine. It definitely looks just really huge. Like it's a really huge piece of clothing, and、um, I'm not sure it really works in any. Other context, maybe like a campy way, like it, it works. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know if I like the coat. It's just. It's really huge.、Um, then the hair also really long,、uh, but I don't feel like the hair quality is like amazing with these. Like, correct me if I'm wrong.、Um, but like, I feel like it's just messy and a tinsel and the gel and like even if you wash it out, like it's just. I'm not even sure. Is it poly? Like I'm not. I don't know what they're doing.、Um, it, it's not. It just feels like poly. You know, it, it looks like poly <laughs> to me because it just looks so messy and like huge. Um, and then her face, same issue really with the eyebrows, leaving her really expressionless.、Um, but I do like how many pieces she does include with her outfit. Like her outfit is very layered. I can appreciate that. It's amazing. I can totally see people、uh, liking these genuinely, and I can totally see people not liking them because they are just so different and they feel off. They don't feel like completely like Rainbow High that we're used to because of the gimmick. And in some, in, in a major way, I feel like this is. 
more gimmick than quality. Like they're choosing gimmick over design and quality. Like that's very interesting to me. Is this the future of Rainbow High? You know, I might have to make a whole video about that, but um, what do you think? Are they really just emphasizing and focusing more on the gimmick than they are on the actual value, quality design of the actual doll? Because I feel like they're really just kind of forgetting about the doll and they're putting first the gimmick, like how to hook kids. And then like they're, oh yeah, we have to also design actually cute outfits for these dolls to wear so um i just feel like they're really not focusing on the actual designs of the outfits themselves and when they do they kind of get ruined by the gimmick you know what i mean so it's like a, it's a lose situation it's like no one wins so lastly we have violet who quite fairly went through the biggest transformation really here from the prototype to now the finalized doll version now if you've seen the prototype image you would know that the original violet was supposed to come wearing baggy pants very similar in style and poofy silhouette as the skirt but whoever like i don't know someone decided that you know violet no pants skirt only so they put her in a skirt instead um definitely looks worse and even with the pants i feel like she wasn't like the best but at least the pants looked really cute uh but now with the skirt i really i can safely say like i don't like her i just don't if you like her like if you genuinely like her um i'm happy <laughs> for you because i don't see it but um yeah it's just it's not for me like the skirt to me i don't know what it is it's just giving really poofy marshmallow vibes um the jacket is kind of cute the fuzzy looking top underneath looks cute uh the shoes are just really bulky like i don't know what they just look like again marshmallows like what <laughs> um and then the the hairstyle it, it like it's cute in um concept like you know but the execution here it's just it's gonna be so heavily gelled the bangs oh if you've seen like real life pictures of violet from people finding her uh you know that the bangs are atrocious like on all of the dolls that people have been getting of, of, of violet of her uh the bangs are a mess they look horrible they're messy disheveled uh they do not hold the shape that they look like here in the stock photos unfortunately um and then of course like i mentioned with all the other girls she also suffers from the really expressionless looking face unfortunately with the eyebrows looking like just really straight no shape uh yeah so she's fine definitely like i i can i can see well i mean i can see someone liking her <laughs> for sure i just i think she's the worst out of all four and i think she's definitely like the least favorite for most people because of the the skirt and the pants would have looked so much better um but yeah i feel like violet always gets uh kind of like a dirty treatment you know like she's she's never treated fairly like i feel like with a lot of her releases you know they never really give they never really give her a fair shot at looking her best you know? but yeah who is your favorite out of these four if you have one and how would you rank these four dolls um what do you think i yeah winter wonderland the gimmick aside like i feel like if they would have obviously no gimmick would have been better um i feel like it would have they would have been able to really focus on the actual designs for the dolls and make it and make them look much better um i also feel like quality control like for the face screening application uh paint job is kind of off from what i've seen and again like the hairstyle the bangs for violet is really bad so um i feel like they really kind of rushed these out to to for people to buy them early and i mean i know why they're doing this it's because so that um international retailers also are able to get these in time for when they're actually supposed supposed to be you know in theme for you know winter winter holidays so uh, they're available for people to purchase them for christmas then uh, but i still feel like it's early for them to release them um and especially if that seems to be uh, the reason why there's so much you know quality control issues with these uh, with these dolls so unfortunately that seems to be the case but you know that aside i think um they're fine i think they're cute bella skylar the the two best ones for my for for me and my in my opinion uh will i get any of these four probably not but uh, will you and why let me know down below but that was the video i hope you all enjoyed leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell and consider becoming a member today to support the channel if you're able to and of course so you don't miss out when i post more content like this coming your way and keeping you up to date with all the all tea you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses